Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. All right, folks, I want to take a second to talk about the current UC season. Now, I know that we've, you know, had videos in the past where I went through all of my predictions. I've had ones where I've talked about what I'm expecting, ranking teams, or alliances. I'm not going to go through that this time. What I am going to discuss is the fact that for the first time in my experience, and I honestly don't know of anyone else that's done this, but I am very close to a perfect prediction season. As of right now, going into round six, I have gotten every single prediction right. Now, I'm knocking on wood right now because I'm really hoping that I can get this right. Uh, it would really be unfortunate to come this far and then not follow through. But basically what I have left in the ATD versus BDR match, I have BDR winning. In the N3O versus FDH match, I have FDH winning. Then in ATD versus FDH, I think ATD will win again. And then in the rematch, I think BDR will win one more time. Look, I'm going to be clear, these are really hard, and unfortunately for me, I honestly think that each match could go either way. The other unfortunate thing is that in order to get the final reward, I need all four of them to be wrecked. So I don't know if a lot of people have gone through this, but basically when you make these predictions, there are some rewards that you can get with it. So for just getting like four of them right, you get just 300 blue diamonds and some training speeds, and it goes all the way up to getting a perfect 30 out of 30, getting a gold defense badge, and 50,000 diamonds. This is because it's really hard. It means you need to get every single match right. As you can see, even at this point, I've already gotten all the other rewards, and all I have left is this one. So I'm really hoping I can pull this off. Hope all of you will be pulling for me too. Uh, definitely gonna be something where, you know, obviously even if I'm not even invested in these alliances anymore, I feel like I'm pulling for them because I want my predictions to be right. I, I really think that it's a fun way to kind of engage with the Ultimate Conquest, even if you're not actually participating in it, to still do these predictions and see how close you can get. There were some really tight matches so far, some tough ones to predict. But I really think that if you're well attuned to what's been going on, to which alliances are strong, if you take the time to look through what their lineups are, who's in which, I th really think that it's possible to do very, very well in these. Um, to be frank with you, I think most people would agree that ATD, BDR, and 3O and FDH are probably the four strongest alliances um, in the whole game right now. There are definitely arguments for others, but in terms of you see, I think most people probably could have gotten that these are going to be those top four. So I think it's very doable for other people to do this well on it, and I encourage all of you to make sure you do your predictions in the future. Um, definitely with the introduction of the new mines, it definitely adds to the variability a little bit, but it also really means that, at least in my opinion, the stronger, more strategic alliance with faster racers tends to win. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to all of you just to see how the predictions work um, and, and what potential rewards you can get. And I hope you all will join me in rooting for BDR and FDH in Saturday's matches. I'm really pulling for them, guys. And, you know, honestly, anyone that's made it to this point, it's really worth congratulating. But, you know, I'm definitely looking out for myself when I say I'm hoping they'll do well. So until next time, folks, my name is Tyrion Lannister. I'll see you then.